my mom passed away when I was six weeks old. She left behind six children. No one knew that I had hearing loss. The teachers, educators, the school nurse, they knew something was wrong, but they didn't know what. I was reading lips, but didn't know I was reading lips. So I struggled academically from the third grade until I finished high school, because I wasn't hearing. When I started living with my sister, she recognized that I had a hearing problem the first few days after living with her. And she said, Tess, I was calling you and we were in the same room and you didn't hear me. She said, okay, I'm taking you to the ear doctor. We went to an ENT and at that time I was tested. The specialist told me that I had hearing loss and I was born with hearing loss. And although it was frightening and shocking at the time, it was enlightening. So that was just a big turning point for me to understand the whys to my behavior towards speaking and communication because there was so many barriers to communication at that time that I didn't know about. I dropped out of school in 1994 because of the accommodations. I couldn't understand a professor. I couldn't take my own notes. So being part of UAGC and having those disability support services has been empowering. You can have a family, you can work. So UAGC just provided so much flexibility. It has allowed me to receive my PhD. I'm hoping that what I've done can be an example for people to see no matter what type of disability you have, you believe in yourself, that we can do what anyone else can do with the right support. I was excluded for so many years because of my hearing loss. I'm proving to myself that I can do it no matter what anybody says. I know my mother and my grandmother in heaven are watching over me because I contribute that part of my life to where I am today. I didn't have those things. You know, my mom, she passed away. So, I do everything out of, of her. And then my grandmother, with her hand law, she didn't let nothing stop her. Same thing with my father. They wore their hearing aids. It wasn't a big deal. And those are my heroes. <laughs> oh, I'm just grateful. I'm grateful. I'm just so grateful. And I'm looking forward to the future.